Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my after match reaction from Shelburne 2, Cabin Teeley 3 at Talker Park. Um, just wanted to start off by talking about the buzz around the stadium beforehand. I was there quite early tonight. Uh, I was helping out the club in doing some, just basically what Shelburne meant to a lot of fans. And, you know, it was really nice hearing the words that they had to say, the stories behind the reason why they follow Shells and, you know, how they were feeling about the season com or this season coming forward and how pos positive and optimistic they were. And, you know, we, we started off in a very positive and, and optimistic in terms of our play. And I thought we were creating a lot of chances. You know, we were whipping a lot of good balls into the box and trying to get killed off on the end of a lot of headers, I felt. Really, really good deliveries into the box, I felt, throughout the game from Michelle's point of view. That's just that, I suppose they weren't literally, uh, they weren't on the head of the players. They were just a little bit over or a little bit under. But I thought there were, there were good balls in good areas for, for most of it anyway. But uh, we obviously got, got our goal quite early on in Oscar Brennan. It was a great finish. You know, it was a bit of a scramble in the box. There was a shot, came back out, and then he dispatched it into the top corner. And it's 1-0, and, and Talca was buzzing, and the fans were in great voice. You know, it was a very big crowd there to, uh, today. I was there a few weeks ago for Warford. It was very poor. I know that was pre-season, but for the first home game of the season, there was a huge crowd there, and it was great to see. And, you know, there was a real buzz. And then, you know, we were kind of coasting, I thought, in the first half, and... Had the had the majority of the chances. Had Cabin Tee didn't look to trouble us that much, but in saying that, they're good quality players. Uh, Marty Waters is obviously a very very good player in that league, and you know he was a constant threat throughout. Very creative, and you know always looking to kind of get in behind. A couple of times he nearly got in behind, but we managed to deal with the danger. But uh, I was going to the toilet. Uh, just before the, f for the first half ended and Cabin Teeley got a penalty now I didn't see the foul but I was coming out of the toilet and I seen the goal go going in you know it was a good penalty so 1-1 one, one going into the break and you know from their point of view they must have been delighted at the time of scoring going in one all half time after being 1-0 down for the majority of the first half so I'd say they were deli uh, delighted to get the goal they're, they're thinking okay we're back in this Shells obviously as fans, we were all quite disappointed. We went back in, so it's and you know people were in disbelief that that Cabin TD had scored. So 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 there you go. But um, coming into the second half, then I thought again, Shells had the majority of the chances, um, and then out of nowhere, Cabin Tilly really got two goals and in, 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 two quick fire goals. In fact, I, I was update. I just got my phone back and I was updating the score, and as I looked up. The goal went in uh, for Cabin Tee to go 2 1 up. And then a high ball comes in, and Luke Byrne he heads the ball. He just basically head tries to head away the danger. And in a sense, he was unlucky, and so the ball falls to Marty Waters. And I thought someone could have came out and try and close them down. He, he was given a lot of time. And you know, you give a player that quality that time, he's going to punish you. And he did. It was a great finish into the bottom left hand corner. Um, he left Dean Delaney standing there. A lot of people were very critical in in the in the stand about about Delaney and have been after last week as well. So be interested to see kind of what happens with him. For me, I, I felt his defenders didn't do any favors getting out and trying to block the ball or anything like that. So for me, it, I think it was the defense's fault, and I felt as though he wasn't being closed down. But uh, you know, to Shell's credit, you know the stadium went very very quiet. Uh, but the, the players showed a lot of determination to try and get back into the game. And, and Conan Byrne, who I thought was a constant threat throughout, as well as Kieran Kilduff, uh, he he got in behind the Cabin Team defence. A uh, great true ball was put in, and he got a great ball in to Kilduff, and bam, it's 3 2. And then Shells looked like they were really pressing on it. Cabin Teeley were going down any chance, chance they could get, obviously, into the, to the Shelburne corner flag so they could waste time or whatever so um which you can't really blame them 3-2 at Talca Park with the with the team shells have this year you know you'd be doing all you can to get the three points so you can understand where they were coming from but four minutes of out of time were, were 
put up on the board and shells threw everything they could at it and you know the, the a long ball into the box and Kieran killed off heads it it's kind of skids off the surface hits the post and the keeper gets a little bit lucky I think and just kind of he parries it out for a corner and that was it, it was game over and you know that was a bit silly fans booing already I mean it's been two games that was our first home game I just thought it was a bit silly to be booing you know it wasn't everybody but there was there was a few there was a minority of people booing uh, I don't think they go to the game too much from from what I've seen anyway. But uh, yeah, look, it's disappointing. But we gotta we gotta get the we gotta get the crowds back again for the next home game or away game, the next game anyway. Uh, we gotta get the crowds back and we gotta get back behind the team because we're definitely scoring goals. Our problem is we're conceding goals, and now we're we're on the receiving end of a three-two defeat. So you know. We can see some of the players are still kind of gelling, so that as well was going to have to be taken into consideration. So um, watch this space, I suppose. But uh, that's just been I. I suppose I didn't get a chance to get any content after the game. No one really wanted to speak about because they were that disappointed. So uh, I just decided to do a aftermatch reaction from the game, and uh, just for anyone who wasn't there, I'm just going to give them a brief brief breakdown of the game and. You know, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Did you like this video? Did you not like this video? Tell me why in the comments. And uh, please help us subscribe. Pe please help us get to five thousand subscribers. Uh, we are around three hundred away now, so we're not far off. And with your help, we can get there before St. Patrick's Day, and we would be a great help. And don't forget to check out Alex's uh, post-match stuff from the Cork and Derry game, and don't forget to check out Ryan and Kieran's stuff. Which should be up on our channel at least by tomorrow. So check them all out. Uh, the lads were at Tallah Stadium for the Rovers and Dundalk game. So uh, check out their stuff. And yeah, we've covered three games tonight. So as you can see, we're kind of branching out a little bit. Which is uh, fantastic. And you know, fan reactions from other parts of, of the country. So hope you all enjoy uh, the content. And I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching.